about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am on my way up. Hi there and welcome to My Messy Bus Life. My name is Denise and if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing, liking this video if you found it very helpful. It really helps me out on my videos um, to let me know what type of video videos you're liking. So today's video is um, very emotional for me. It's making me happy, sad, and I think many moms around um, the world, the nation, can um, I think we can relate right now. Uh, this was supposed to be Matthew's first time. Uh, this was supposed to be Matthew's first time going to school, um, preschool, and I envisioned it so differently. I envisioned, you know, early wake-ups, breakfast, and dropping him off at school, pictures with his teacher, and just, you know, that experience I had when I first had my first preschool experience, but um, that's not the case right now, and that's okay. We're trying to make the best of it, um, but it is very, very bittersweet, so. Okay. Okay, let's get back to business. So I'm trying to make the best of it. I'm trying to be as positive and um, look on the bright side of things. I really wanted to take this seriously. I, I researched a ton, so many videos I watched, um, so many books I read on preschooling at home. I did so much research before jumping into this. Um, and the first year I got married, I actually did take a course on how to become a preschool teacher aide. That was the career I was leaning towards. And um, so I'm so grateful that I have that on under my belt right now because you know I, I kinda have some stuff that I can do during this time, but it's so different when it's your child, right? To implicate the stuff you've been taught. My house is not the biggest house and it's not a tiny house either. It's a regular family home for four, it's a three bedroom house, and all the rooms are occupied. So I don't have an extra loft, I don't have a study area, I don't have that. So upon much research, I I, um, I wanted an, a study area, a school area, that I could um, use, but at the same time still be able to take care of my youngest, and still be able to get dinner going, while Matthew was doing something or along those lines. And when you are doing a school area, you want it away from things that would distract your child. So like toys and stuff like that. You want that in a whole different area. And um, what I did was I actually turned my, um, my coat closet into our little school room. Um, so it's right off my dining room and it's in the center of like the home. So I will show you guys how I turned my closet into our little school area room on uh, Matthew's first day of school, how it is working for us. Mind you, a lot of things will be changing. This is just going off of the first day of school and um, I'll check in with you guys maybe in a couple of weeks to let you know how things have changed what I'm using, what I'm not using, and I'll just bring you guys along for this crazy ride of homeschooling that I am super nervous, super excited, but really nervous. So let's stick around and I will show you guys that room. Before we get to showing you what my little school room looks like now, I wanted to show you what my coat closet looked like before I turned it around. This was our catch-all area everything that you can imagine was in this coat closet and i'm really happy with the results that turned out to be okay so this is my front door this is our little entry area and right here is my table i'm not going to show it because it's a mess it's full of the school stuff so that's where my dining table is at 
and that's where we're going to be using as our desk. So this is my coat closet. And I wanted for school something very functional, something that would be very organized, easy to see, easy to understand, but that I could just close the door and it's not in use. So out of sight, out of mind when we don't need it or we're not using it, but very open, very useful when we are using it. So that's what our coat closet is now um, about and I love it. So let me give you guys a quick little breakdown of what everything is. So this mainly right here on the, on the door is our circle time. So I put a chair right here or sometimes I just let Matthew stand and Noah will join. And like I said, I've already done little test runs of it. I haven't done a full school day until today, but I have done little tests about school and it's been working fine and um, they love it. So this is our morning circle time. We break down the days of the week, uh, months, and our behavior chart, our solar system, our ABC chart, classroom rules, and it says autism adventures um, on Pinterest, but I really liked the rules regarding everything. Even if your child is not autistic, it's a really cool rule chart. The body parts, Matthew says that it looks like him and it kind of does when his hair was longer. And his shape, charts, seasons, today's weather. And all of this, you guys, I got it off of Pinterest under preschool free printables. Just look up whatever theme you're looking for and it will be there. And I just printed it out here at home. So that's all I did, it was very easy very cheap did not have to go broke becoming a teacher thank God and let's go over here so the Pledge of Allegiance I feel like this is something pretty important to teach my son uh, learning the Pledge of Allegiance was something very fun for me when I started school so I'm really happy that I get to do this with him now and I just thought that that was the cutest little Pledge of Allegiance paper and with the flag. So this is mainly my little marker tin thing, but um, there are obviously some like glue sticks in here. These are all my markers for my little whiteboard that I have. And then these are just regular markers that I will be using for like changing my numbers and letters of the week. Some paint brushes and glitter, my chalkboard pens right here, pencils for Matthew, and I got these off of Amazon. They are um, to teach your child how to grip a pencil. So I'm really excited about that because I know he's been struggling with those. And then some silly scissors. And let's move to this side. So this side is just games that I have for him. This is the Gone Fishing game, a Baby Shark game, and I got these. They are magnetic tins. They're really cool to use. Matthew's favorite is the shapes one. He's not a fan of numbers. We're struggling with our numbers, but that's what school is about, right? Learning. <laughs> so this is my puzzles. I have, these are mainly for Noah to keep him busy when I'm going to be teaching Matthew and then these are the bigger ones that I have for Matthew that's the United States some numbers and his work building puzzles for three letter words some paper down here it's not really paper it's like a foamy paper type of thing and then some toys to play for school down there and then that's like my stuff like extra tape, a label machine, and mainly stuff for me. And up here is my my art. So in here I have like buttons, some like foamy stickers, googly eyes, 
Um, there's my buttons. There's buttons. The popsicle sticks. The little foam. These. A bunch of those like silly wires. Glue and glue sticks. This is my all paint stuff, finger painting, all paint in this box. And it is a old shoe box that I'm using. Like I said, do not go broke, use what you have. I, I did not want a cute new box for my paints because if a leak or something were to happen, it's gonna make my box ugly. So I just went with an old shoe box. And then I got these two blue little um, boxes from the Dollar Tree. This is all mainly like pencil, or not pencil, I'm sorry, um, stickers. This is all stickers. See, all stickers here. And then this is my um, coloring books. These are old coloring books. I haven't really bought any new ones. The last, the newest ones I got were um, these Sunday school ones. This one and where's the other one? This one. These were my most recent. I got these in March when school or Sunday school was going to be closed because churches were closed. I wanted Matthew to still have some type of church um, knowledge going for him and being able to still continue to teach him about our faith. And then these are just some composition books for me. This is full of pencils and then markers, pens, like backup of all of that. Just some college rule paper. This is all like fun paper that we can use for the holidays, for fall coming up. There's just a bunch of different colored paper, construction paper there. And that is it, my little tour for you guys. In a few weeks, I can do an update video on what's changed in here, what's um, what stayed the same, what's working for us, what's not working for us, and I will let you guys know in a few weeks what's still the same. I have a gut feeling that it might not really change too much because everything seems to be very preschool, very um, useful for a toddler, so we'll see if anything changes, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys found this useful, if you think it's a good idea to use in your home, if maybe you don't have an extra room like I do. Unfortunately, I wish I did have a big, bigger house and an extra room, but I don't. So I am using what I have and making the best of it. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this. And now let's get started with Matthew's first day of school. Don't click away, I'm really excited to show you guys our first day of school on what we are doing and just joining me on this crazy ride. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Agents Won't stop for traffic lights of the United States And I, I really wanna Religious know, stand. really wanna know One nation under God If I will ever figure out where Pretty the road fun. goes Pretty easy, right? Yeah. Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my more. highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Falling down, I will keep.
keep on searching for my heart. Aria's birthday. Aria's birthday. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. And the sky is falling down. about like seven sheets or so for the letter C that we will be using and then I have this where I can use for with my white markers and it comes in this packet and then we are doing number three so I printed out the same thing three over here Just tell me what's on your mind Cause I don't have time Even if you mess up, you gotta keep going it yeah. out. It's okay to mess up Figure it out We haven't been our best What number is that? I think that we're just holding Ooh. on to number. something Number Three how many pencils? Maybe Count how many we pencils should there is. walk away. One. Say goodbye and go Two. separate. Three. Yay. Good job. So far, so good. I can feel it deep inside. We will never work this out. We will never Stopping work this out. For a quick little lunch break. Snacks, lunch break. All right. Okay, Matthew, your first day of school is done. You did a good job. Woohoo! Woohoo! It's did you? Garbage day. Yeah, it is garbage day. That one says garbage day. No, garbage day is on Monday. Matthew, did you have a fun day? Yeah. Did you like mommy as your teacher? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, but I have six. There's for school. Yeah, your scissors for school. Yeah. You did really good today, Bubby. Really yeah. proud of you, okay? High five. Good My job. My favorite color is green. Your favorite color is green, yeah. Yeah, I throw my coat. Okay. Can you say thank you for joining me on my first day of school? Thank you for joining me on my first day of school and, and make sure Subscribe to the channel. Good job. Yeah, and make sure to subscribe to the channel. And click to the button. Next time. Bye. Bye. All right. Let me show them something. Make sure you get, get some happies. Yeah, make sure you get some happies. All right. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Let's close the school. Okay, guys. So what I love about... Hold on, puppy. What I love about my little school is that... It's functional, it's very functional, but I can just close it. That's it. Our house is back to normal. See you next time. Bye. Okay, so that about does it for today's vlog. Um, Matthew's taking a little break. He's watching a little bit of a movie right now. And then when he's done with that, we'll continue on getting the rest of our schoolwork done. But it is not even 11 o'clock and we're almost done with school. Um, we're going to do reading at nighttime. That's something that um, my husband is going to be doing with him. He does uh, storybook time. He does bedtime stories. 
before they go to sleep, obviously, but that's something he likes to do. That's his bonding time with the boys. So we'll do that at nighttime. And then we just have a little art project to do and we're done for the day. I have to say it went fairly easy, I think because we've done practice runs. We've done like two, three days out of the week for like 30 minutes. And I think that really helped today. That was our full real preschool at home day. It was what I planned or schedule. It was longer than 30 minutes. It was about two, three hours. Um, and it was pretty good. It was pretty smooth sailing. Will I have days like this all the time? No, but so far so good and I'm really grateful for that. And I wanted to show you guys something. little moment. Isn't it so cute? I had to get um, a little mug for myself during these homeschooling times. You have to be your own supporter. You have to be your own cheerleader and you can do this. I know it's really hard, but you can, you can do this. I know some of you moms are dealing with multiples. I'm just dealing with teaching Matthew and then distracting Noah while I'm, you know, teaching Matthew. But some of you moms and dads, you're doing multiples, teaching multiple kids or helping them while they're on their Zoom and stuff. Just take it one day at a time. It's going to become a little bit easier as days go on. You're going to fall into a routine that fits for you. Remember, you're not at school. They are not at school, so don't try to run it like school because then it's going to be very stressful. Do what works for you, for your home, for your kids. Every child learns differently and your technique on teaching will be differently. Your technique on helping them learn will be differently. So don't get stressed out. Don't look at your neighbor. Don't look at your friends on what they're doing. You know, take some tips from them and if you see something that you like, take it, but don't try to do it exactly like them because you're your own person. Your kids are different from their kids and that's just how it is. So I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Everything's about to come my way Nothing can ruin my day No matter what anyone does or say I smile at fools No, I don't care cause I am